Kings Island is an amusement park in Mason, Ohio. It is home to around 15 roller coasters, and I'm a really big fan of this park. Even though it's only 3 hours and 30 minutes away from Cedar Point, it still holds well on its own. The front entrance of this park is sort of half and half because you're going to walk under this giant, really disgusting brick wall. But that is to show and hide the awesome reveal that is to come, which is the giant Eiffel Tower. So I'd say that the entrance is sort of uh, like a win loss because the the front front entrance where you get your tickets is disgusting. But when you actually walk into the park, it's very nice and beautiful. There's a bunch of shops and other stuff around the entrance, which I like, you know, and it's just really nice to look at. Um, you sort of enter into the middle of the park. So if you go back, you can get to Banshee, the Drop Tower, and Vertigo Bat. And then if you go forward, you'll get to the back of the park, which is basically uh, the Beast, Mystic Timbers, and Diamondback, all in close proximity. That was my favorite section of the park, was where Mystic Timbers and Diamondback were located. It was sort of this like dead-end plaza, where you get some really, really nice uh, theming because of uh, Mystic Timbers. Uh, there's also some, some lockers in that area if you want to put your stuff in that section of the park. And then you also have Diamondback, which, which a lot of people consider to be the star of the park. My least favorite part of the park was definitely where Invertigo and the Bat were located. And even though they weren't really in close proximity, it was like sort of two different sections that I did not really like. It was over by where Oktoberfest is located. Um, Invertigo just felt like it was on a giant slab of concrete, and sort of that whole section just felt really trashy. Right next to it was the Drop Tower, which even though the Drop Tower is great, the area that it's in is not good. Then you're going to go right sort of towards Banshee. That part of the park looked just fine. But if you go past Banshee, then you're going to get to the Bat. And my issue with the Bat is that it's in this section of the park that feels so secluded that it doesn't even feel like King's Island. And that's not a good thing in my opinion. So to get to the Bat, you actually have to go through a separate park. There was no food options, no games, no souvenir shops, nothing. It was just like the, the Bat there. And it was really long, like almost like a hike to get there, um, quite frankly. And I just did not like that section of the park at all. I definitely feel like the back half or the front entrance, uh, front area of the park could use a giant facelift. The roller coaster collection is just fine. Nothing's really standoutish except for maybe Mystic Timbers and the and the Beast. Um, my favorite coaster in the park is Beast, but the rest of the coasters there are good. They have a really good top four, and then everything else they have is sort of just meh. But they definitely have an average lineup, and it's definitely a good lineup. I think that all the average coasters sort of add up to give you a nice lineup. Food-wise, this park is just average as well. I ate at a nice restaurant. It definitely felt good. My only issue with it is that the food wasn't good, but it was underpriced, which I like. So underpriced, but bad food. So, so it kind of it evens out. I mean, it's give or take, right? So all in all, Kings Island is a good amusement park. And if you're going to Cedar Point, you have an extra day. I would honestly sacrifice a second day of Cedar Point to come here because there's definitely some awesome credits here like Beast, Diamondback, and Mystic Timbers, plus Banshee. So... I honestly think that it's good that it's next to Cedar Point because it definitely packs a great one-two punch for Ohio, and I really recommend that you come here. If you're in the area, come here, and this park should be on your bucket list by far. It's probably my second or third favorite Cedar Fair park behind maybe like Carowinds and Cedar Point. And for final grade, I'm going to be giving this park an A-. minus. Um, I really want to give it an, an A+. Plus. If they do eventually get a Giga Coaster, I think that this has the potential to be the best park in the country. But I think that they need a couple more roller coasters and maybe a facelift in some areas of the park to really be considered an A-plus park. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you want to go to this park? Uh, and Have you been to this park? My name is Coaster Cupcake, and I'll catch you all next time.